Are you wanting to invest in some pan pastels but don't know which set will be best for you? In this video, I'll reveal the best pan pastel set in my opinion and tell you why I think this is the perfect set for you. I'm Kirsty Rebecca and I create drawing and painting tutorials that are easy to follow so that you can create realistic and professional artwork even if you're just starting out. If you've had a quick look at the sets of pan pastels that are available, you're probably a bit confused. I know I was. My students ask me quite often which set they should buy to follow along with my tutorials, which are a variety of different subjects. Pan Pastel offers fantastic sets for wildlife, portraits, landscapes, seascapes and florals, as well as sets of tints, shades and extra dark shades. There are also plenty of other sets you can choose from. And these are all great sets if you only want to work on one subject matter. But what if you want to create portraits and landscapes or florals and wildlife? Which set do you choose then? When I bought my first set of Pan Pastels, I realized I didn't have all the colors that I needed to create a variety of different subjects. So I bought an additional set only to end up with doubles of some of the colors because I didn't realize that a lot of the sets have some similar colors. I've actually been working with Pan Pastel over the last few months to create what I believe is the perfect set of Pan Pastels for a variety of different subject matter. And this set is called General Realism by Kirsty Rebecca. In this set, I have included all of the colors that I use most often throughout my realistic pastel paintings, including wildlife, birds, portraits, landscapes, still life, and pet portraits. And on top of those colors, I've also included the primary colors, which are permanent red, Hansa yellow, ultramarine blue, black, and white. So you can actually mix and create additional colors that aren't in this set. The way that pan pastels work is that there are 20 pure colors plus a tint, a shade, and an extra dark shade of each pure color. So if you take violet, for example, there's also going to be a violet tint, a violet shade, and a violet extra dark shade. To create violet tint, all you need to do is mix white with the pure violet color. And the shade and the extra dark shade is made by adding black to that pure color. So you can mix those five primary colors to create secondary and tertiary colors, just like paint, to create any new color that you would need. Mixing your colors from those five primary colors may sound like the perfect solution, and it is a fantastic start if you have a limited budget and you just want five colors to start with, but it can be quite time consuming. And if you need to match a color that you've mixed previously, sometimes that can be a little bit difficult which is why I have also included an additional 15 colors that I use most often for a variety of different subjects. This means that you have a great set of already mixed colors to choose from, so you don't have to continuously mix colors, but you also have the ability to alter those colors and create brand new colors that don't exist in this set with those five primary colors that are included if you need to. This set also comes with a variety of soft tools that you can use to apply the pan pastels with. I've included the tools that I use most often in my artwork so that you don't have to purchase them separately either. I've actually been using this set for nearly a year now on every pastel piece that I've created without needing to add any other colors other than what's in this set. I'm definitely biased, but I truly believe that this set of pan pastels is perfect for any artist who wants a set that will cover a large range of subject matter. If you want to see the type of artwork that you can create just from this set of pan pastels alone, I will leave some links to some of my YouTube tutorials in the description below. I will also leave links to where you can purchase this set from in different parts of the world. There's a full length real time tutorial in the top left hand corner where I go through exactly how to use this set of pan pastels to create this hornbill. So click on that and I'll see you over there.